everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Aaron Hendon. Hi, happy new year. Welcome back. I wanted to go over with you what is happening with King County real estate today. And in order to determine what's going on with it today, we want to get a little historical perspective on the situation. So what do we see with King County real estate? We see this is the last five years of sold, which are the dark green and for sale, which are the light green. Let's see. What do we notice? Well, look at this right here. The last six months inventory has increased to 2014 beyond 2014 levels. Okay. In fact, if you break it down, you've got December of 2018 being at 3000 open units, which is really the same as the summer of 2017. We haven't seen a December with this much inventory. Really it beats, it's beats 2014. So even in December, we had more inventory available than we've had in the last five years in December, year over year, okay? And the peak exceeds the last five years peak. Okay, so what does that mean? And if you look, sales, let's get this out of here for a second. Sales has been fairly steady. The demand has been fairly steady. Now it's dropped off, right? A little bit, nothing like the inventory has increased. Okay, the difference between here and here is nothing like the difference between here and here. Okay, I mean, it's the difference between, I don't know, 10% and doubled. Um, so what does that tell us? Well, if demand steady and supply is increasing, what do prices need to do? They need to drop and they have been. And, you know, we've reached, um, you know, year over year, uh, Seattle's gone down in median price compare, com, you know, compared to last year at this time to this year at this time, there's been a decrease. Now it depends your neighborhood, the east side is lower, uh, as less of a decrease than, you know, South Seattle. So there's different areas and price points and you need to look specifically at your neighborhood. But overall, the law of supply and demand dictates and runs the show here. There's been an increase in inventory and a decrease, uh, or at least a steadiness of demand. You're going to have lower prices. There's no two ways about it. Let's look at what actually it's the last 15 months, a little bit more carefully. So again, light green is the available. That's the for sale. Um, let's get the um, dark green or the sold. The blue line is the new listings coming on the market. The red line is the ones that got pended in the previous month. So sold ha takes 30 to 60 days. Pended is uh, a, 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 like a leading indicator. It'll show you what's going to happen the following month. So this is interesting to me because I'm a geek about this kind of stuff. It was last October in 2017, two Octobers ago, when inventory, when new listings crossed um, sales, pending sales. Okay. So in other words, there were more sold than came to market last October. That didn't happen until November of 18. Okay. So in other words, there were still more houses coming to market than being sold in October. We've now crossed the threshold, meaning more houses are leaving the market than are coming on the market. That should drive down this inventory, okay? That should become lower. But if you look, still 3,000 units is more units available than there have been all of the last 15 months. Any month in the last 15 months, 3,000 units is more. So. Any way you slice it, it's going to be harder to sell now than it has been. Now, the question everyone wants to know is how long does this keep up? Does this mean prices are going to continue to go down? Is this a bubble bursting? Is this a correction? Is this just going to stabilize? All those questions. They're, they're, look, as questions go, they're valid questions. But if you follow me and follow my, my the, the vlog, you know I don't make predictions, right? It's not useful. Nobody knows. I mean, just nobody knows. And the mechanism in the market only remembers predictions that are correct. So I could tell you something now 
It has no basis in reality. And you could watch a talking head on TV and think that guy's got a job. But if you can't watch people on TV and know that those people don't know what they're talking about, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you can't watch people on TV and think they know what they're talking about. They're not there to know what they're talking about. They're there to sell advertising. They're there to hot takes. Here's my hot take about the market. The market's going to tank. There's a hot take. The market's going to double next year. There's a hot take. One of those two things. Or the market's going to stay the same, right? Not such a hot take, but whatever. We don't know. Okay. The point is we don't know. But here's what is predictable. If you're waiting to sell, right, I think you're foolish. Why? Because what is predictable is that every summer the available inventory goes up. And the law of supply and demand dictates that you want to be selling when there's less supply. If you wait to spring, you're going to have this much more competition. Right now, there's more buyers there's more coming off the market than going on. This is when you want to get to market right now, the next 30 days, 60 days tops before this phenomena comes on. Is that definite? No, but that is predictable. Now, for those of you that want <clears throat> a prediction, I went ahead and I consulted a professional about a prediction of the marketplace. So let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look at the prediction. I went and asked the magic eight ball. What does the magic eight ball have to say? Will the Seattle real estate market go down this year? And I asked the magic eight ball and the magic eight ball says, don't count on it. So we're not going to count on the real estate market going down in Seattle. Why? Because the magic eight ball said so. And I swear to you, there are people on the news that use this site to determine their hot take has to be. Okay. So there you go. Now, you know, the real Seattle real estate market will not likely go down per the magic eight ball. All right. If you have questions about your market, you have questions about your neighborhood, you have questions about your home, get a hold of me, call me, text me, email, smoke signals, whatever you need to do, get a hold of me. I look forward to talking to you party on and happy new year.